I recently showed you how I like to use the shortcuts space on Evernote, on my Evernote, to run the timeline system. But that's not the only option. Uh, my clients, some of them, for example, prefer to run it here on the notebooks list. So let me show you how to do that. Let's start by creating two stacks. Let's go to collaborations, add to stack, new stack. And this is an action container. Now let's create another one here, uh, add to stack, new stack. And this names here, they had to represent what's going on inside the containers, but I also wanted them to be in order. First the action containers, then the static containers, then the timeline container. And the words that I choose, action and static, and the timeline was already there, but action and static, they were they they are here to make it be ordered like this. Okay, now we can move this here, this here. There's one that is wrong here. Okay, this one is here. Okay. Can you see that? You can do it from here. For example, I can keep this open and I can, for example, move this client from here to here. But I can also do it from here. We go to the notebooks and I open the timeline and then I open this. I can bring this note back to this other container. And finally, I can also do it from here. Let's remove this. Whoops, I sh that was a wrong move, but that's okay. We can fix that. Okay. We go back to our notebooks. We can now do this, this, and let's put this here. Okay. Now I can open this, do whatever I want here. And again, I can click here and move this here, or I can come here and move this back here, and I can also quickly check any of my static containers. I prefer it the other way, but it's a matter of choice. Okay, now let's take a look at how to set this up on your phone. This is how we set it up last time. Evernote is opening on the shortcuts page, and from here we can expand uh, the containers, uh, the, the, the stacks and see the containers, but maybe you want to change this and make the uh, Evernote open on the notebooks page, right? So let's go back to the settings and we are going to change everything back to how it was before, almost how it was before. So if we go to navigation, Default launch page. We have to choose another option here because this is how we'll gain access to the notebooks here again. So now we can change this to notebooks at the quick access. And if we go back now to default uh, launch page, we can uh, select notebooks if you want to. Uh, and now we have here the notebooks option at the bottom of the page, which in a way may be a little bit better than the shortcuts page because this one will give you the search box at the top of the page. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there are many other videos about the timeline system here. And if you found this helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.